Okay, in this problem we're asked if given the function f of x, y equals x squared plus y cubed and p equals 1, 1, we are asked to determine the direction in which f increases most rapidly at p, the maximum value of the rate of change of f at p, the direction in which f decreases most rapidly at p, and the minimum value of f, of the rate of change of f at p. And then finally, we want to find a description of the directions in which f remains constant. Okay, so first, for part A, we want to find the direction in which f increases most rapidly, which is going to be just the direction of the gradient vector of f. Um, but we also want to recall that we've seen this function before in a previous problem of this section. So the, we know already that the gradient vector of f at 1, 1 is equal to the vector 2, 3. Um, so now we want to find the direction in which f increases most rapidly at p. We know that the gradient vector of f at 1, 1 is 2, 3. So we want to find a unit vector in that direction. So we're simply going to normalize our vector 2, 3. And we see that we get one over the square root of 13 times the vector two, three. Okay, now that's the result for A, and we want to find the maximum value of the rate of change of F at P. Well, that's going to be, since we know that the rate of change of F at P is given by the directional derivative of f at p in the direction of u. And we know that that's equivalent to the gradient vector of f at p dotted with the, co or the magnitude of the gradient vector of f at p dotted with the cosine of theta, where theta is the angle between uh, the gradient vector of f at p and u. And so we want to maximize this value. We know that this is going to be a positive value. So cosine of theta is the only thing that's going to be able to be maximized. And that is going to be 1. So we can just, so we're just going to calculate the norm of the gradient vector of f at p, which we have already found that the gradient vector, the norm of the gradient vector at p is equal to the square root of 13. So the answer to part B is the square root of 13. For part C, we want to find the direction in which f decreases most rapidly at p. And that's just going to be the opposite direction of the gradient vector. So we can just look at our part, answer for part A, 1 over the square root of 13 times 2, 3 and tack a negative sign in front of it. So we get negative 1 over the square root 13 times a vector 2, 3. And part D is equally as easy. We are asked to find the minimum value of the rate of change of f at p. And that's just going to be the negation of this, since cosine, cosine's minimum value is negative 1. So it'll be negative, negative 1 times the norm of the gradient vector of f at p. So it's negative square root 13. Okay, so for part e, we're going to find a description um, of the directions in which f remains constant. So for this, we want to find the values in which
the directional derivative is equal to zero. Um, so we can set u equal to some arbitrary vector. We know that the gradient vector of f at p is equal to 2, 3. So we'll let u equal x, y. So we can take the dot product. We get And we can solve for x or y. And we found that x is equal to negative 3 halves y. And we can plug this back into our, val into our um, substituted vector. We see that we have the following equation. Two third or two three dotted with the vector negative three halves y comma y is equal to zero for any y but we want this vector to be normalized so we can just go ahead and do that so i'm going to pull a y out and then and take the norm of the top value. And we see that this simplifies to y times negative 3 halves 1 over the square root of y squared times the quantity 9 fourths plus 1. We can pull this y squared out, and when we do so, it's going to be an absolute value because y could either be plus or minus 1. And we can cancel these y's, keeping in mind that it's absolute value, so we get plus or minus the vector negative 3 halves 1 over the square root of 13 over 4. We can simplify this even a little bit further. and We get and we get that um, the two vectors where f, the directional derivative remains constant is for plus or minus 1 over the square root of 13 times the vector negative 3, 2.